I heard someone say recently that uh, Disney stories don't happen anymore, where the boy falls in love with the girl and they live happily ever after, and we shouldn't expect that. We'd been to a missionary talk. He was talking about how they were going to Kenya to do mammogram screenings with the women in the villages, and just how easy it was to test. And uh, we went home that night, and I happened to uh, ask my wife, and I, we just checked, and uh, we found a lump on her breast. It was so surprising because we had just been to this talk, and we we're like, "This can't be," and it's probably nothing. So we scheduled a mammogram and went in for that, and it turned out to be breast cancer. About 10 days later, we went back for another scan, and it turned out it was worse. The cancer spread throughout her body. There were tumors in her lungs, and her liver, and her spine. My mom had uh, died of breast cancer. She battled that for about 10 years, and then the cancer came back, and she passed away, and I was just able to be with her for those last three days of her life, and holding her hand when she died. All these images started flooding through my head, and say, Oh my gosh, this is my wife now. And I think I lost about 10 years of my life that day because it had shortened everything my mom went through and it fast forwarded. And talking to the doctors, they said, uh, once it's spread like this, there's not much we can do. They gave us no hope. But with Jesus, there's always hope. And we've always had faith, we've always believed that God can work all things for good, and I've seen him do that in my own life so many times. So that I was able to know that and rely that God could work this for our good. But just the natural response of having to deal with uh, the reality, I felt like I lost her already. And I'm trying to be strong for her, because I know what she must be going through it must be horrible. Uh, I'm the father of six kids. I've got a 21-year-old down to a 9-year-old. They really need a dad right now, and uh, they need a mom right now. She really is the strongest one through all of this, and she said, you know, for me it's a win-win situation, because either I die and I go to be with Jesus, or I get to live and I stay here with you and the kids. I write this weekly devotional on the internet, and so every week I'm supposed to write a devotional, and I just thought I could not even think about writing a message this weekend. I just uh, started writing and just writing a message to the people that read this and saying, here's the situation, I've got cancer, and we're just trying to uh, work through it. And um, we're just going to live each day uh, for the fullest. That doesn't necessarily mean flying around the world and taking trips, and although we're doing some things like that, because the prognosis isn't good and we're, you know, apart from a miracle, um, the doctors don't give us much hope for a cure. We're just trying to enjoy each day. We take walks in the country and look at the sunset. We hold hands a lot. If there were one thing that I would hope would come out of this new Bell V project is that it would inspire hope in the people to watch it and get involved with it. I just feel like there is hope and there's no reason to give up. It may seem like there's a reason to give up, but I pray that it gives people hope and particularly hope that they would put their faith in God. You know, for me, even with the great hope that I have, I wake up some days, or maybe I'll be walking through the mall just by myself and think, I don't want to be by myself for the rest of my life. I, I can't imagine being alone, and I, I don't want to do this. And, and I look to the future and I think, what if my wife passes soon? And I try to think, you know, what the future looks like, and it just looks like an empty void. It looks gray. I can't see anything because she's been such a huge part of my life. She's my best friend, she's my confidant, she shares my most intimate moments with me every day. And, um, I just can't imagine life without her. But I also know that there's a reason for my life, and uh, even if her life is taken at some point, I know that there's a reason that I'm here. And uh, my role is to find that reason, fulfill that reason, and walk in that reason. Whether you're the person dealing with a loss, or whether you're the person uh, trying to walk someone else through it, I just want to tell you that there is always hope. I can say for me and my wife, you know, God's given us the best Disney story. I, I feel like just uh, being able to be with her and be married to her and have children with her and live life with her. I know that this disease may shorten her life, but uh, on our anniversary this year, I just gave her a little plaque that just said, and they both lived happily ever after.
even if our time is cut short here on earth together, uh, I have no regrets. I am so glad uh, that I've had time to love her and she's had time to love me. And for me, it is a happily ever after story. Whenever love is involved, love never fails.